Hey guys, Thomas here. Well, what the hell did you vote for? With a bang in 9 points, I had to watch Kiss X Sis. Even before watching it, it already checked all my trigger boxes. Etchy, check. School, check. Romance, check. <sighs> Not to mention the freaking name. What would you even expect from an anime named Kiss X Sis? It's making me excited! Would have preferred the Kiss X Pro version though. Haha, <laughs> jokes aside, where do I even begin? So last time you made me watch Pedophilia, and this time it's incest. Nice. I mean, it's straight up told that the main character is a guy with two sisters, and they are doing stuff with each other. Yeah, by stuff, you know what the hell I mean. It's clearly a fetish anime, no question about it. And while Kodomo no Jikan at least had some kind of a semblance to a plot there, here they don't even have the courtesy to offer something as trivial as that. There is nothing to watch here except fan service. I'm three minutes in and the sisters are already showing boobs to their brother. <laughs> but it's a horror anime too. Because only having twin sisters doesn't cut it these days. So the other girls around school want the main character too because he's so... Uh... What are his characteristics again? He does bad at school, almost fails it. He isn't charming. He's uh, pretty clumsy and uh, downright gropey at some points. He doesn't show any memorable features throughout the anime. What gives? What's with the bland characters? Where's the damn appeal? There is no allure to the anime for normal viewers. How it garnered, how it garnered to have 200,000 followers on my anime list is beyond me. No overarching plot, no good message at the end, nothing in- God! Only tropes and tropes and tropes. In the first episode, you get boob shots, ass uh, shots, flashing, groping both boobs and groin, falling on top of a girl in a strategic position. Are you penetrating me? How in the name of Sir Isaac Newton is that even possible? You are violating the laws of physics there. You're so close to each other and the same height, the fall, what, uh, what? <laughs> they do kind of try to make the incest part okay since they aren't really blood relatives as we learn halfway through the season when they already have had a lot of stuff done to each other. But yeah, it turns out that their parents are heathens who had children out of wedlock. But the cherry on the cake is that they support those three going at it. Like, oh yes, son, let's go. G go upstairs with your half-sisters and have sex with them. I'm all in. I, w I knew I was, when I was your age, I used to do that, like, with every family that uh, had me in it. Oh, 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 I need to get my autism down. Oh. We haven't even passed the first episode yet! What? They seem to mess up colossally though, since they introduce all kind of fetish fan service at first. Like the incest thing, the second episode has a teacher and student relationship thing, and so on. So in later episodes, there is nothing new happening because they used all their trump cards in the beginning. In some of the episodes, they even forget about teasing and just bluntly go for the hentai. They try to justify some of the more raunchy scenes by saying that those were dream sequences. But you are still showing them to the audience! You are still smut anime! Other than that, there is no originality to the show. You, ca you can summarize every episode with one sentence, and if you have seen like 5 anime and 1 hentai, then you know exactly what is going to happen in the scenes. 
Episode 6 Cosplay Episode Episode 7 Pool Episode Episode 8 Night Festival with Fireworks Episode Episode 9 Pubic Hair Episode Episode 10 Main Character is Sick Episode See? You already know everything. No context required. You also have a lot of peeing fetish here, which is just so... Ah... At one point in the middle of an episode, I started to think of some other things, probably much more entertaining ones. And it was like, oh shit, I have to watch the whole scene again. But then I thought like, why? I know exactly where they are right now, and I know what's happening next, so why do I need to rewatch it? I just could have as well skipped it. I could have skipped the whole episode. And probably the next one too. And the next one. I could have skipped the whole season and still know what's happening. There's no point to the anime. It's so empty. I haven't felt so empty even while watching porn. I think this is one of the worst anime I have seen in my life. No joke. Like, Boku no Pico at least was memorable. Like, it was awful, but it sticks with you. And Morals of Destruction was hilariously bad. This is just 12 episodes of nothing happening. 12 episodes of softcore porn. It's fan service, the anime. With scenes of fan service just designated to lead to other scenes of fan service. Keijo looks like a freaking masterpiece compared to this. There are no redeeming qualities with the show. It's not funny, it's not memorable, the characters are so bland and the visuals are so mediocre. Everything is so damn forgettable. The only thing going for it is the incest fetish. How do I even judge this? I mean, if you are going to watch something named Kiss Exists on purpose, then it delivers. Like Fifty Shades of Grey delivers BDSM or softcore porn, but on an overall anime standpoint, it sucks so hard. And not the brothers pin. Same with Fifty Shades of Grey. It delivers on the porn standpoint, but as a standalone book or film, it's still bad. 2 out of 10. It is brutally bad. It is awful. It's smut. It's garbage. Gah. God damn it, I've had it with all of this. I'm done. I'm fucking done. God damn.